Today we're gonna build this. This looks like pretty much standard 5 inch quad, but it's rather not. So if you're interested in FPV builds, please stay tuned. While I'm holding this, I'll also take a chance to remind you guys about subscription. Also, likes and comments are much appreciated. First thing I'm doing is soldering capacitor. I'm soldering it that way so it does not obstruct in any other components fit. Next I'm soldering XT60 pigtail, but the parts are quite large on this EC, so ideally you need a soldering iron with bigger teeth. I unfortunately don't have any, so I had to use my soldering iron and small tip and make it as hot as possible. This is how it looks after all the soldering. Next step is to grab our frame base, mount ESC on it and tin all our motor pads. Make sure you installed ESC correctly, currently I'm pointing where M1 pads are. Now let's prepare motors, Loctite and screws. We will be using M3 by 10 screws, you can use them separately or they are provided with a frame kit as well. This is what we've got so far. Time to solder motor wires to ESC. I'm using a bit non-standard way to circle them around ESC screws, but some people are also using it and it looks tidy for me, so I decided to try this approach in this build. Next step would be to mount our flight controller on top of EEC, connect both EEC and flight controller with the cable provided with the stack, and we will test our motors with smoke stopper and beta flight.
Now I am installing 12 volts back. It will be used to power up our VTX and cameras. Now we will do something unusual. We will put camera on the rear of the quad where GPS is normally mounted. I'll be using pretty much same GPS holder but slightly modified printed TPU and the camera will be looking towards the ground. Next I'm installing VFly camera switcher. I have a separate video what that and how it works, see card on top of the video. Front camera is going next, I'm installing part of the cage, fixing camera and soldering it to VFly cam switcher. I am installing VTX and DVR now. I also have microphone soldered to DVR, pretty much the same configuration as one of the videos on 3.5 inch quad build. I will have a card on the top of the video. For final installation of flight controller, uh, there is some job of route all possible wires inside uh, the stack so they are not bothering us on top of ESC. Next in the queue is ELRS receiver soldering.
connecting, I'm installing autonomous buzzer. It's better to have it on each quad because in case of power loss and battery disconnection, it increases chances of finding your drone significantly. Let's see how it works. Now I'll disconnect battery. So guys, again, recommend installing it. It's very cheap, like seven or so euro, but it can save your quad one day. Time to install VTX antenna. I got a couple of iFlight Albatross antennas, so trying one on this build. At this stage, it's time to assemble front of the quad. Use alien tape to secure uh, some small pieces and then zip ties to fix them even better and also assemble front cage of the quad. Probably last thing for this quad is GPS. I'm using the Gepper CM10 DQ GPS module and I'm installing it on a GoPro place. I like this place most of all because it, it's less interference with VTX antenna and back of my quad is already taken by the camera. We are nearly there, almost done, and just before we close the lid and do some final stuff like putting props, just final test with smoke stopper and remote. And one of the final things I'm always doing with my quads is to use mechanical tape and then electrical tape to secure wires on the arms.
if you watch the video till the end, thank you so much for your interest. If you just scroll to see the end result, also thank you. So as a result, we've built this quad. It has two cameras. They are switchable via remote. And why do I need it and how this quad flies, we'll see in the next video. So please stay tuned, subscribe, like, comment. See you in the next videos.